I've always been climbing mountains, running rivers, always had a garden wherever I lived. Lived in Hawaii and Alaska where I did naked gardening. It was wonderful. But once you're in a wheelchair, all of that kind of goes away. I'm 58. I was a singer, dancer, actress for most of my career. But then at age 36, I woke up paralyzed one day from this rare disease called transverse myelitis. It affects maybe one in about two million people. And when it first happened to me, they didn't know what it was. And eventually they've come to realize it has to do with inflammation and it's an immune dysfunction. You know, your body attacking itself. At the same time, the doctors say, well, we don't understand it and we don't really know how to treat it. So we'll just treat the symptoms. And for 21 years, that's been my story. My niece actually sent me a grounding kit about three years ago. She knew that I couldn't physically in touch with the earth anymore. And she heard about this and she thought it'd be the perfect thing for me. So I received it. And my first impression was, okay, this makes no sense to me at all, but I don't want to hurt my niece's feelings. So I put it on the end of the bed and plugged it into the socket as per my instructions. And the first night, I couldn't feel anything. It didn't seem to make any difference. But when I woke up in the morning, my feet, which are always swollen, first time I tried it, there was no swelling in my feet. I could see the bones in my feet. And that hadn't happened probably in six months. I just made it a part of my life. After a couple years, it suddenly occurred to me, gee, everybody I know who's in a wheelchair has inflammation and swelling issues along with pain. So I called Marty and said, let me tell you about the Abilities Expo. Would you guys consider expanding your audience? He talked to Clint, thought it was a great idea, and now they're here. Natural phenomena, a remarkable natural phenomena that exists right beneath our feet, earthing or grounding is about connecting to this natural resource. And regardless of your condition, it can make you feel better. Here's the background. Throughout time, throughout history, humans were connected to the earth. We walked barefoot. We slept on natural animal hides. We were connected to the earth. But today, it's a different story. We sleep in elevated beds. We wear synthetic soled shoes. And even our wheelchairs are insulating us. When we make direct contact with the surface of the Earth, our bodies receive a... Ten years ago, I was working with a holistic cardiologist, and we wanted to do an article on grounding. And so he said to me, that the cardiologist said, you got to call Clint Ober. And so I went and I called Clint Ober. I spoke to him for five minutes, and I realized this is not an article, this is a book. This is a huge discovery. Well, when I first heard about it, um, it was took it with a pinch of salt. It sounded a little, a little too good to be true. Having now experienced several friends and people on our team who have used grounding, the skepticism is pretty much gone. It's right behind us right now is one of my friends. Her mom is in a companion chair. 15 minutes ago, she was swollen legs. Feet were cold, hands were cold, and now they're not. And this is her first experience of grounding. That's 15 minutes of real life demonstration. So I'm pretty much a convert. I am 39 years old. I'm trying to take pride in that. 
I was diagnosed with MS 14 years ago. The first time I heard about grounding, I thought, get real. This seems crazy. My friend patched me up, and I sat there, and we all just talked for about 45 minutes. I found myself smiling, and that wasn't something that I did, you know, I just didn't. Um, I physically have more energy. It, I don't have the fatigue. I feel like I really can accomplish things. I can brush my teeth now without holding onto the counter. My balance is better. I just feel, it sounds silly, but I feel more grounded. I feel like my feet are really like hanging onto the ground and I'm there and. I do it every night. I sleep on a pad and um, I patch up my hands and sleep with a grounding blanket and I just really am obsessive because I'm noticing. I just finally look forward to, to tomorrow. Um, for the most part, it's been sleep. You know, she's been able to get through the night without having to get up like, you know, six times to go to the bathroom or anything like that. Um, her spasticity has gotten a ton better. She used to have like restless legs all night and that doesn't really happen anymore. It's been huge. It's been a big difference for her. I want everybody to try this. I don't want anybody to not experience this. Anybody who has pain, anybody who can't sleep that well, anybody who gets depressed, you know? I mean, these are all things that have been completely lifted out of my life. I used to feel like a burden, a real burden to my husband, to my family, and I don't feel like a burden anymore. I feel, I feel good and I feel like things are gonna get better. It's my miracle. <laughs>